I'm Mary from Joyful and Mary Quilting. Today we will be discussing three essential steps that will help you pick the perfect fabrics for your quilt. I am here to tell you that it is easier than you might think to create a cohesive and visually stunning quilt that reflects your style and vision. We will begin with understanding fabric types and uses, followed by exploring color harmony, and then what I think is the most important, a fun trick for easily identifying lights, mediums, and darks. And then we'll talk inspiration. Now, before we get started, the content you're about to see is actually a lesson pulled from my Ultimate Quilting Foundation course, which is open for enrollment for the rest of this week with class beginning on March 25th. So if you're a newer or a self-taught quilter, this class is designed for you. You can watch a video all about it by clicking on the link in the description or in the comments. It's gonna be so much fun and you'll wanna enroll as soon as you can so that you can grab your discount. Let's get started. Today we're gonna to discuss how we choose fabrics when quilting. We want to select fabrics that complement each other and also work well with the pattern that we're going to be using. You may have a natural talent for selecting colors and coordinating patterns, or maybe you don't. Hopefully the guidelines we discuss are going to help you make those fabric choices that you're gonna be pleased with in the end. So we're gonna talk about choosing fabrics with good contrast, color harmony, in other words, they go together, as well as those suitable for the pattern that we're going to be making so that you have a visually appealing quilt. So first of all, fabric choices. What fabrics work best for quilting? The best fabric for quilting is 100% cotton. Now it really depends on the personal preference that you have and also on the intended use of the quilt. If this is going to be something that's going to hang on the wall, an art quilt or a mixed media quilt, that's different. Then you can use all sorts of fabrics and different medium within your quilt. But we're just talking about a quilt that we're going to make that we're going to use. So the 100% cotton is usually considered the most popular choice among quilters for several reasons. And I'm going to give you those reasons. Hopefully that will convince you as to why you need to check that little label and make sure that your fabric is 100% cotton. For the most part in the quilt shops, they are. 100% cotton usually takes up most of the space. Didn't used to, but it does now. So why do we pick cotton? First of all, cotton fabric is durable. It makes it suitable for frequent washings, which we often do with a quilt, especially if it's a baby quilt, and it really does last a long time. Long-term use with cotton fabric is really one of the pluses when you select that particular type. One of the other benefits of cotton fabric is the ease of sewing. It really does make things easy when you're quilting. Easy to cut, easy to press, easy to sew. So it's ideal for quilting, especially for beginners. It just obeys. It does what we want it to do for your project. Cotton is also breathable. That is so important when it comes to a blanket. And I know quilters don't want to hear their quilts called a blanket, but for this particular topic right here, the breathability, this is what we want when we have something that's covering us as if it were a blanket. We don't want something that's going to trap all that heat inside, but rather we want something that is very breathable and cotton fabric is. Cotton fabrics also have tremendous washability. Cotton fabric is washable. It allows our quilts to be cleaned without losing their quality, without losing their shape. There's so much variety when it comes to the cotton fabrics. Cotton is available in so many colors, so many designs. You have patterns, you have all sorts of different types of fabrics that you can use and you can find the perfect fabric. You can create a vibrant quilt, maybe a child's quilt or something that you really want to stand out or maybe you prefer the more muted designs. It's all based on your preference. The fabrics are there. Now, in terms of cost, while there are higher end and more expensive lines of fabric, it doesn't mean that the less expensive fabrics are inferior. You have to be careful. Some less expensive cotton fabrics might have a slightly looser weave. You can see through them a little bit more. They might have fewer thread counts and that could affect the durability and the feel. Sometimes they're a little stiffer. However, many quilters successfully use those more affordable cottons without compromising the quality of their quilts. You just have to be careful. You have to really do your homework. Take a look at the fabric. How does it feel? Take a look at the weave. Can you see through the fabric easily? Then the weave is too far apart. And as you select your fabrics, 
you may want to think about, is this gonna withstand some heavy washing? If it can't, if you think it maybe won't, then don't choose those particular fabrics. If the quilt is going to be subjected to frequent washing or heavy use, you probably are gonna need to invest in a higher quality fabric. However, if you are using your quilt just for decoration, maybe it's a wall hanging, maybe it's something that you're not gonna ever wash, or maybe it's something that you just use once in a blue moon, you put it out, it's maybe a festive quilt of some sort, you can probably get by with those less expensive fabrics. Ultimately, we want to achieve a balance. If you can afford quilt shop quality fabric, that's what I would use. That's my favorite, that's my go-to. But it's totally a personal choice. You need to have a balance between quality, budget, and your personal preferences when you are choosing your fabric for quilting. You don't need to break the bank in order to create a quilt. Sales happen all the time, even at our local quilt shops. Quilting, yes, can be an expensive hobby, but many quilters find success in using a combination of high quality and more affordable fabrics within a project to achieve the desired outcome. Choosing suitable fabric patterns and colors is huge. To determine if a fabric is suitable for a chosen quilt pattern and whether the quilt's gonna be visually appealing, you need to consider the following steps. And these are so important when you're picking those. I can't tell you how many times I have seen people pick the pretty stuff and when they put it into the quilt, they all blend together and you have chaos. We want to make sure that doesn't happen. So the first thing you can do is you can audition your fabrics. When you evaluate how they look together, when you actually audition those fabrics, this allows you to assess the contrast, the color harmony, and whether the fabrics complement each other for the chosen pattern. This is where it's important also to consider the pattern. Some quilt patterns might require fabrics with specific characteristics. Some don't, and you'll be able to tell by looking at the picture. But if they do, do what the pattern tells you to, or you're gonna be disappointed in the result. Evaluate your chosen fabrics, and then align with these requirements. The next thing you can do to help you with your fabric selection is use color tools. So what's a color tool? First of all, you can use an artist color wheel, and this basically takes you through the process of what matches, what goes together. It balances the different fabric colors so that if you're using blue and you're using yellow, and you can kind of tell with the different shades of that particular color, what's gonna look good together. There's a whole science to this that we can't get into here, but if you're interested in getting more into the actual color, the color wheel works really well. In addition, you can purchase a color evaluator if you're not quite sure about the value of your color. Now, what this is, we wanna know, are these really light, medium, and dark? So depending on the fabrics that you're using, you either can use a green or a red, hold it up to your eyes, and it's gonna take away the color and just leave the value. So these work really well. You would be amazed. Sometimes I look and I think, oh yeah, those are light, medium, dark. And when I hold up the color evaluator in front of my eyes, I see I've got light, medium, medium. Or maybe I've got medium, medium, dark, who knows? So these are really helpful. But my favorite is using the camera on my phone because I can take a picture of those fabrics, even when I'm in the quilt shop, take a picture of the fabrics and then switch to grayscale in the edit section on your camera. Take it to grayscale or depending on your camera, just take a look and see and turn it to a black and white photograph. Then it tells you immediately light, medium, and dark. Now these are pretty obvious here. You can see light, medium, and dark, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes you can't tell right off if these are gonna show up. And if you put it into your quilt and these don't match, if you have a light, a medium and another medium, you're gonna totally lose the effect of those squares that are popping out. So this is so important. Maybe it's just not as striking of a contrast as you would like. That photograph will show you that. The next thing you can do when you're making those choices is make a test block or maybe a test section. Just put something together and see, is this gonna work together? How do these fabrics interact with each other? This can provide a preview of how the finished quilt might look, and it can help you make adjustments if necessary. The next thing we need to do is consider the quilt's purpose. Who is it for? What will it be used for? For example, if a quilt is intended for a child, you might use a different color palette than what you would use for home decor or for an adult. It totally depends on who you're making the quilt for.
The last thing we're going to do is seek inspiration. Maybe you're not quite sure which fabrics you want to select. Go online. Type the name in a Google search of your pattern. See what other people have done. Maybe someone has taken this particular pattern to a totally different level that you really like. And you may change what the pattern has on the front as the suggested palette for colors and fabrics and patterns and go totally out on a limb and do something else. That inspiration that we get from the quilts of other people, what they have done can help us decide what we want to use for ours. Thanks so much for joining me. And again, if you'd like to see all the great bonuses in this course and what it can do for you, click on the link in the video description or in the comments below to learn all about it. I would love to have you join me. I am always trying to be joyful, but I will always be merry.